In a forgotten corner of the world, nestled deep within a dense and ominous forest, lay a crypt that had been shrouded in mystery for centuries. The locals spoke of it only in hushed whispers, referring to it as the Demon's Crypt. Tales of its dark history had been passed down from generation to generation, warning of the unspeakable evil that dwelled within its cold, stone walls. It was said that the crypt had been sealed for a reason, a malevolent force bound by powerful magic. The story spoke of a demon so wicked that even the bravest of souls dared not approach the crypt's entrance. But as time passed, memories faded, and curiosity gnawed at the hearts of a new generation. One fateful day, a group of adventurous explorers gathered at the outskirts of the forest, fueled by a desire to unravel the crypt's secrets. Among them was Eamon, a young scholar known for his insatiable thirst for knowledge. He had spent years poring over ancient texts and scrolls, seeking clues to the crypt's origin and the entity that lay dormant within. The group armed themselves with torches, weapons, and an assortment of protective charms. As they ventured deeper into the forest, the air grew colder and the shadows seemed to lengthen, as if warning them to turn back. Yet, their determination pressed them forward until they stood before the crypt's imposing entrance. The crypt's entrance was adorned with intricate carvings, depicting scenes of suffering and chaos. Eamon recognized symbols from his research, symbols that hinted at the demon's name, Azirath, the devourer of souls. Despite the growing unease, Eamon's excitement spurred him on, and with trembling hands, he recited an incantation he had discovered in his studies. As the incantation echoed through the still air, the ground trembled beneath their feet. The stone doors of the crypt creaked open slowly, revealing a dark abyss that seemed to swallow the very light around it. The air turned oppressive, heavy with a sense of foreboding. The explorers exchanged nervous glances, but Eamon's fascination was unshaken. With torches held high, they entered the crypt, their footsteps echoing in the cold silence. The walls were lined with ancient inscriptions that warned of the consequences of their actions, but their curiosity overpowered any lingering doubts. Deeper and deeper they ventured, until they reached a chamber that held a massive, obsidian sarcophagus. Eamon's heart raced as he approached the sarcophagus. The incantation he had recited earlier seemed to resonate in his mind, and he felt a strange connection to the entity trapped within. Ignoring the pleas of his companions to turn back, he reached out and touched the cold surface of the sarcophagus. A shiver ran down his spine as the room filled with an otherworldly energy. The sarcophagus trembled, and cracks began to form on its surface. Before anyone could react, the stone exploded in a burst of dark magic, releasing a swirling vortex of shadows that coalesced into a towering, monstrous figure. Azirath had been unleashed. The crypt echoed with the demon's malevolent laughter as it surveyed the trembling explorers. Amon's fascination had turned to dread, and he realized the grave mistake they had made. The demon's eyes gleamed with malice as it reveled in its newfound freedom, the centuries of imprisonment fueling its hunger for chaos and suffering. With a wave of its hand, Azirath unleashed a torrent of dark energy that enveloped the chamber, trapping the explorers within. Panic and despair gripped them, and they fought valiantly against the demon's power. But it was Aemon who found the strength to resist. Drawing upon his knowledge of ancient spells, he wove a counter-incantation, a desperate attempt to banish the demon back to its prison. As Eamon's voice rose above the chaos, the chamber shook with a violent force. The demon roared in fury, but its power began to wane against the scholar's unwavering resolve. The struggle between light and darkness raged on, each incantation intensifying the clash. With a final surge of energy, Eamon's incantation reached its crescendo. The crypt trembled as the walls seemed to close in on themselves, and a blinding light erupted, consuming the demon and the chamber. When the light finally subsided, the crypt was sealed once more, its malevolent inhabitant banished back to its dark prison. Amon stood amidst the aftermath, his body weak and battered, but his spirit victorious. The other explorers emerged from their hiding places, 
awestruck by the young scholar's bravery and determination. As they made their way out of the crypt, they knew that the tale of Azirath and the demon's crypt would become a legend, a cautionary tale of the dangers of curiosity and the enduring power of knowledge. And Amon, forever changed by the encounter, returned to his studies with a newfound humility, vowing to use his knowledge for the betterment of the world and to ensure that the secrets of the demon's crypt remained buried for eternity.